other people that we know may know other people that's dying from I, this i have people that i know that have survived thank god and they have family members that didn't survive you know yeah. my condolences so yes this is a real thing this this isn't no kind of this isn't propaganda this is one thing that i can say is a real actual thing some kind of virus got out and this virus is deadly it targets right. old and it targets young right while we're talking about this there's also one more demograph that we fail to acknowledge mm -hmm. while people are out there getting extra money through the edd mm -hmm. there's people who actually should be getting it and are not yeah due to the fact of the whole system and the air and the fact that someone figured out how to take advantage of this real fast. Yeah, you know? because majority of the people that was waiting for unemployment never received their unemployment. They don't care that how bad it's affecting this person's life, knowing that they got to put food on the table for their family. This is a real situation, and it's like a lot of scams, a lot of schemes, a lot of a lot of that shit been going on. A lot of people still hang out. And, and not even wearing masks and don't really care about the mask because they feel like this could never happen to them. Sometimes people don't give a damn because it doesn't affect them. I've also ran and talked, uh, ran into people, had a conversation and they say, you know, it's funny the, the this whole virus thing is real fickle because, you know, you as well as I know, you know, uh, in certain areas of Los Angeles. Yeah. There's a lot of homeless, and I mean, yeah. when I say, a, I mean a lot. Yes, and sir. you know, we don't hear anything about them getting sick or dying or anything. Mm -mm. And the crazy part about it, if you go to Echo Park, right? Echo right. Park is like the new homeless community now. It's went from being a clean park where people can jog, walk their dogs, whatever. These are people with tents, RVs, like a homeless campground now. There's some people out there that's really finna deal with some uh, bad situations as far as they might lose their job tomorrow. Eventually, yeah. it's gonna get to where you're either gonna have to open back up or you're gonna have to close completely because the next people that's gonna get cut are essential people that keeps your business running. You might have to start laying off HR. Now, if you're laying off HR, where who who's doing the paperwork? You know, right. so. You know, it, it's 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 still about the little guy, you know, right. no matter how little or big that little guy is, it's still about the little guy. And, you know, we're we're taking the blunt of blunt of all of this. B. Smith says, number one, the money should not have been given to people who work, people who receive welfare, Social Security. They continue to receive the money on top of money. It was issued out wrong. I do agree with that. I, I do believe that people who lost their jobs should have been made, you know, maybe first in line or something like that because they have, you know, things like mortgages, car notes, things like that to take care of. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've seen lots of guys, you know, that I can say that I'm pretty sure you probably ain't worked this year or last year or any other year. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you living the life right now. I see, you know, they got the Benzes and all that. And I'm right. like, wow, you know? Yeah, there's a couple of them buying brand new cars and all that. And I was just like, damn! You no, know, Trump signed a bill for, you know, okay, we're going to give y'all 400 a week. And then that's when, you know, Newsom, you know, goes on TV. And he's talking about, oh, well, the state of California is broke. And we're like, okay, well, shit, y'all need to start opening up some businesses or something like that so people can go back to work. There's one thing to another that's going on in the news. It's like you look up, okay, you know, we see this whole debate election between Biden and Trump. Trump was eating up Biden for breakfast and then Biden caps back a little bit, you know, he tried to and all. And 
you know, when they mentioned the whole thing about the mask and Trump showed his mask and he was, you know, that, like I said, it was clowning each other. I mean, it was like clown channel. I mean, it was like a circus and shit. And some things that Trump was saying had me laughing and, you know, Biden tried to come back. It had me laughing, too. I mean, I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front with you. It was funny as fuck. When questions was being asked about what they're gonna do about white supremacy and all that, they went around the question. Why is it that every time you, you mention about black injustice and all that stuff like that, it's like y'all go around the question. Where's the answers for that? Feel me? Absolutely. I mean, but this goes back to when we look back at, well, okay, the Asians have the triads, you know? Yeah. Um, the Italians have the mafia. Mm. Okay. At one point, though. The Caucasians have the KKK, okay? And we had the Black Panthers. Now, out of those organizations, which one of them was public enemy number one? Yeah, the Black, Black Panthers. Panthers. Public enemy number one. Yeah, in Oakland. And guess what? Most of the Black Panthers were doctors, lawyers, teachers, artists. Yeah. They just wanted equality. That's it. That's the it. same That's thing that we're still asking for. Right. Equality. You know? Facts. But our racial faction, our mm. fa our racial faction got taken down immediately. Mm. All these other racial factions are still operating today. Yeah. But, but that's none of our business. I'm just saying what relates to us. Right. We have been crippled in specific ways. Who's our organization to say, hey, these guys still aren't getting treated right? It has to take it has to take humanity. It has to take humanity that you guys still aren't treating us right. So yes. the whole human race has to come to you guys and say, hey, what else do we have to do? We mm -hmm. already built this country from the ground up. Every invention that we use up until the computer is made by a black person is not going to get the credit. Just go do the research. Don't listen to me. Yeah. Just hear what I say and go do the research. Period. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, what, what, what else do we have to do? We, we, what else do we need to give up? Our lives? I don't want us to give up our lives. That's <clears throat> what this whole movement is about, yeah. you know? Beyond reasonable doubt, our ancestors built this country. And that's something that people forget. We live in a world now where it's a confused generation. Everything is all in illusions that cause confusions. I'm gonna dive into this topic here about Trump tested positive. Damn! They'll have a speedy recovery. Um, I spoke with the vice president's office this morning as well. Uh, we're taking this obviously very seriously, and we'll do everything we can to keep everyone safe, including you all. That is reaction coming in this morning from U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo after word overnight that President Trump and his wife Melania have contracted COVID-19. I want to thank everybody for the tremendous support. I'm going to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well but we're going to make sure that things work out. The First Lady is doing very well. So uh, thank you very much, I appreciate it. I will never forget it, thank you. When I first heard about Trump being tested positive, you know what I'm saying, I just got off the phone with uh, one of my partners. Shout out to Mike Frazier, you know what I mean? We always chop it up all the time on some real shit, so. As soon as I got off the phone with this cat and I start getting all these memos saying that Donald Trump got tested positive. Now, mind you, man, a day ago, he was out in New Jersey talking big shit about Biden. It was so hardcore. I felt like Trump shouldn't have capped on Biden, so. I mean, that's why I say either way, both sides of the field, people disagree with this whole election situation. And then after the Jersey thing, after that, all of a sudden, he's, tested positive. Him and his wife tested positive for the COVID-19. Now, a lot of people think part of this is a publicity stunt. Others think, damn, this is messed up. This is bad. And others think, well, hey, 
he got what he deserved. They just laughing at him. You feel me? They laughing at him. He got what he deserved because, you know, he wasn't wearing a mask, you know, on certain occasions. And Biden got on him and told him, man, you know, you need to wear your mask, even though he showed the mask. And there's a lot of people that talk and they put their mask back on after they done talking, right? But when I heard about it, it was like, okay, wait a minute. Uh, here it is now, we're watching the news and on the news, you see Trump going to the uh, military medical center. Give us your take on that. First and foremost, I was super surprised to hear that he actually contracted Corona. Yeah. Like I, I said, he yeah. downplays it, he downplays it, any chance he gets. Oh, I mean, oh, he he oh. always say that everything is fine, everything is okay. How, how does he do it? Like, yeah. what, what is he? One of these, one of these things right here. Yeah, yeah. with the little hand, he does the little hand thing. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, but see, <laughs> see. Here's the thing, though, on, on on some real on some real shit. It's like, okay, you had the mask in your pocket, but now when you walk to the helicopter to go to the military medical center now you're wearing a mask it's like why you didn't take this this seriously like people are dying every day but you saying that everything is okay and there's a few people in this administration that caught it too they got it two of them they caught it so and then his wife caught it two people in the administration caught it just like you know, the lady he was nominating to become a judge. And all. Uh, man, they was hugging and all that. Next thing you know, man, he got tested positive. But what I'm saying is that every time before he leave the White House, he always got tested. I will say this. Me understanding simplistically how a clock works, I doubt that he got tested each and every time. You have to think about it. They just came up with the, 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 the swab version where you can put it in your mouth. They just yeah. came up with it. Yeah. So prior to, how were you able to test yourself each and every time? Hmm? Right. What methods were you using that weren't expressed or released to the rest of the rest of the world? What were you using? Hmm. Because we just like like maybe a week or two, you know, this month just started. Now we know that you can do a swab with, a, you know, uh, in your mouth and boom, now we can test you. What were you using? Right. He wasn't using anything. He was just running around. I'm the president. I'm the man. Like, I really, I really don't think that what they tell us, mm. what they tell us, they that they actually do. Yeah. We're just and state for the rest of the world what we were supposed to do. We're going to say it as if it was the truth, as if we actually did this. Right. That way, the alternate happened, and we can say, oh, we don't know. Uh, right. But you you know, you know, you didn't really think that he was going to get it when he's in the, he's in the age range, mm -hmm. you know, that age range. If you really want to check out the code, look it up. Yeah, There's I mean, ages. you know, you know, Trump is like 74 years old. There's people that don't like Trump is laughing at him right now because he didn't take this seriously. B. Smith was like, let's wait and see if he really have it. And it could be all a setup to get votes. Now, I'm going to say something on this because there's a lot of people said the same thing. It could be a publicity stunt or it can be where they assassinated him with that damn virus because he took the virus as a joke. And a lot of people looked at him as, okay, he joking around with this shit saying that everything is fine. When they were like, okay, well, no, it's not. It's not fine. This is not fine at all. This is real life. People dying from this shit. That's like he was being careless about it. And this just my opinion. I don't give a fuck how anybody else felt about it, but it's just my opinion. But like B. Smith said, we just have to see what happens if he really has it to where it's like it's severe, where 
he's getting dizzy and overly congested and said he was coughing and all. But I'm just saying if it gets to the point to where they got to put them things up in his nose and everything for him to breathe, it just didn't look like, you know what I'm saying, he was sick severely where they're carrying him on, you know, the gurney or whatever. I do believe that. Like, from the footage that they showed us, he had a nice brisk walk. You know, it wasn't like, like you said, he wasn't carried. He wasn't on a gurney with a whole, you know, bubble with over With all it. the little face mask and all that shit like that. Right, you feel right. me? Like, like we've been seeing in these other countries. And we all know Trump to be a just a straight up circus. He a here. jokester, man. It's Trump's a jokester, homie. Trump's yeah. a jokester. Some people misunderstand Trump because Trump do say some things that pisses off a lot of people. And that's why you see... Why you think people look at him as being a racist bigot? Because it's like he's not being very careful with his words. He's just being gangster with this shit. It's all political yeah. game banging, bro. For real. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I, that I do believe and that I do see. He says whatever and when, it, you know, whenever he wants to say it. You know, this is the only president that I've actually seen, you know, always on Twitter always on social media you know beforehand i've never seen a president disrespected more than i've seen barack obama yeah but yeah. then when this joker came in <laughs> i saw the media no 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 like the media gave him his respect at first yeah. till he just started doing a whole lot of things that was real questionable like yeah. use a he was a real f boy, right. you know. He was right. an f boy. Like, right. you're you're doing too much. So then the you know the media had no choice but to just lay into him. You know the news reels and you know they just you know it was just a real negative campaign. Right. But I right. think that I think that also that was a ploy. I think that that was also a ploy deployed by him because before Barack Obama. They've never disrespected a president as much as they did him. And I ain't never going to forget yeah. all the disrespect that I saw Barack Obama accept when he first stepped into this position. Mm -hmm. And then when he won that second seat, then people start to die down a little. Bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This dude has been straight up ridiculousness from the Jump. Man, look, he was gangster with the shit. He didn't have, he didn't, he didn't have no, he never had a filter. You know, what he, I mean, look, it, it would, everything would have just been cool if he would have just been careful with the way he addressed things. You feel me? But then, you know, what a lot of people don't know, and this is actual facts, but if y'all don't believe me, do the research. I mean, damn, how many people he didn't bailed out of jail that was serving life in prison? Remember that whole thing with Jennifer Hudson, how her family got murdered? That whole yeah. massive ritual killing, right? Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, she was staying up in Trump Towers. People don't talk about that. You know, Trump I'll was be, helping I'll, Jennifer I'll, Hudson out. Call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm saying, like, I mean, if you're, if you're a person like Trump, you got your hand pretty deep in some stuff, you know? Right. He right. has a lot of money. Hey, Trump invested in like billions of dollars into a lot of businesses, even endorsed some black owned businesses at that time. But it's just like now him going in office, it's like the game changes. You know, saying a lot of black people start looking at him different. And there's other black people that 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 love Trump for real, that love Trump for what he's doing. Uh, and right. you know, and we just speaking on both sides of the fence. You know, we're not just talking about just one side of it. And there's some people that don't like Trump, and there's people that don't like Biden. They look at right. it that either way, this country is fucked either way. It's a fact, either way. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I say like everybody's entitled to the way they feel about. Trump and the way they feel about Biden, you know, everybody's entitled to that. Some people are rooting for Biden and some people feel like if they um, if they vote either way or, or either way it goes, it's just all bad from there. You know what I mean? So, I mean, 
I mean, well, like you said, there are those group of people that feels like, hey, our voice aren't it's it's not heard. Our voice isn't heard. You know, um, I know people that really don't think that their vote counts. Yeah. I mean, everybody votes count. Every, everyone should vote. Everyone, every vote counts. Mm. But they just don't think that when they go there and they, you know, give their input that it matters. Right. They think that the higher powers are going to create some kind of way to make it go in their favor and right. not our, our favor, which is, you know, I guess the, the minority, right. you know. Right. So, I mean... I stay trying to, you know, educate and try to motivate people to vote and things mm. like that. But, you know, there are people that have been wronged, I should say. And, you know, it's kind of hard to change their, you know, point of view. Right. Just like, don't get me wrong. I go vote. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm only voting for a probable cause. You feel right. me? But a lot of people are feeling like a certain way. Like, prime example, Ice Cube. He was like, well, what's in it for us? He was like, right. 75% Absolutely. of black owned businesses are going under right now. What's in it for us? You see what I'm saying? Right. So it's like a, a bad situation that's just heading downhill. So a lot of people feel like they're not gaining anything out of it just for voting. You know what I mean? But I feel like either way it go. If there's certain propositions, do your research on propositions of what the proposition is. Don't just vote on it just because they might say one thing. Just like right. uh, the whole rent control laws that they wanted people to vote on. And then they, you know, people screw things up. Shit gets screwed, screwed up. Mistakes happen. And I, I, I feel personally sometimes this shit happen on purpose. Like it's no accident. Like they already know who they want in power and they know who they don't want in power. What more can I say than than you are absolutely right? You know, they they definitely handpick. They definitely handpick the last two people who you have to choose from. Yeah, yeah. They're not just people; they're handpicked. Right, right. It's it's like it's like if you think about a snake. You know what I'm saying? You have one fang, and you have another fang. You know, that's kind of what they give you. They give you a snake and they give you two things to, you know, decide which one you want to get bit with, you know? Uh, yeah. But, but you know, so, so what they try to do is they try to make the fangs look so different. Like, oh, this fang punctures and then it spreads the wound. Oh, well, this fang has more venom than that fang. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they try to get you caught up in all the difference, you know, about the left and the right thing. When the whole thing you need to understand that it's coming from the same snake. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. You got two teeth coming from the same snake. You getting venom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, but that's a fact, though. I mean, it, it, it's a fact. It's a fact, bro. I mean, because I've always been told that don't let the snake bite you, especially if you see him hissing at you. It's smiling your face and be hissing low key deep inside. If they wanted us to win, huh, then, you know, they wouldn't have burnt down Black Wall Street. Oh, I'm sorry. I went back too far. Let me let me fast forward. I literally got a cousin. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when I check out his, you know, his post, uh, baby, baby, baby boy fly. Baby yeah. boy got bands. You know what I'm saying? And this is, this is, you know, none of that EDD stuff. This is him. This is this is you know street work. This is street creativity. This is you know street life. And you know he's doing a real good job. So it's like telling him to stop being a particular kind of entrepreneur that you are. Yeah. To take less money and go work for somebody else to make them as rich as what you can do for yourself. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's why, you know, you, you can't you can't knock the average street guy. 
you right. know, you don't, don't yeah. turn your nose up to him. Don't try to look down on him because he probably got more money than you. So what tools do I have? What tools do I then have to use to come talk to him about, hey, maybe you should try something different, you know? So yeah. until the game change, what tools that we actually have to change it? So now that we know Trump has been tested positive, what do you think about the situation as far as the outcome? I believe the outcome is going to really, you know, tell us if this was a sham, some flim flam, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or straight up, or straight up like shit show, like right, a straight right. shit show. If he caught that, if he really caught that, then he should be signing bills, you know what I'm saying? Well, to keep people from catching uh, that. You did? I, I, yeah, you know? that, yeah. But as a matter of fact, we got to say that Trump has been very generous as far as uh, making sure that people were paid. But now it's like we in a situation I mean, to where some of I mean, us are screwed. You know what I'm not saying? To be, not to be such an antagonist, but you know, you got to make sure that, you know, you got to make sure that they don't bite you so you feed them real good, you know? Right. You know, the hand that feeds you, you ain't supposed to bite it. You know? So, yeah. you know, he has tactics, man. This dude, he don't play fair. He's not a genuine person, mm -hmm. you know? He's a businessman. Yeah, always and that's what people gotta understand. Always been and always will be, even after he get out of what, office. But guess, what, but guess what the U.S. is? A business. Yeah. It's all a business, but what, what um, the cold part about it is that people's livelihood is at stake right now. A lot of us believe that it's a political game because like what made it so unbelievable is that he tweet and said that him and his wife has been tested positive. So that's why a lot of people think that this shit is a, a, a hoax. Like, okay, this shit's fake as fuck. Like, nah, right. like right. nah, y'all playing it's, it's with not, us. It's not like, it's not like he jumped on Twitter and was like, <laughs> They trying to look into my tax. <laughs> he jump on there. He ain't talking about them taxes. They trying to see what's up with your taxes, bro. He not talking about that. He like, oh yeah, to make y'all forget about the fact that they trying to get in my taxes. Mm -hmm. Man, me and my wife just got tested positive for COVID, dog. What's up? I mean, you know, he a jokester. Yeah! I know he didn't done a lot of good things, no, man. Yeah, but a lot of people don't look at the fact that he's being generous. Some people don't look at it like that. They don't look at no, that part. I'm very thankful that he's generous yeah. because without him, without him, all of that positivity wouldn't have never happened. Anything that's positive, I'm all for it, no matter how, how it happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because in a real way, it, it could have been worse. It could have been where everybody just got laid off with no pay, with no money, yeah. with no yeah, stimulus, he, with he, no he, checks, yeah. with nothing. And it would have really been a huge, great depression. His whole slogan was, make America great again. That was great his slogan. Again. But here's the thing, though. It looks like America is heading to a great depression. The only thing that I can say on that is pray to the most high, have faith, think positive, and know that it's going to be worse before it gets better. Depending on where you are in your Bible verses and depending on where you are and what you wait, look wait. up. Yeah, yeah. So depending yeah. on where you are in your Bible verses and what you look up and everything. Yeah, but you know what though, I gotta say something though, because the only person that's been in the chats has uh, is B Smith, right? And, okay. Uh, big ups to B Smith. B Smith said that maybe he's trying to push his vaccine that I'm not taking. I mean, it's like Damn! maybe it might be a publicity stunt for them to test out this new vaccine and then everything is going to be fine. Allegedly. 
Allegedly. Right. Because we can't speculate and assume, oh, this shit is fake. This is some bullshit. This shit don't make no sense. Look, we just waiting to see. But I, it wouldn't surprise me as well as it wouldn't surprise you. Dude, that's scary that that to say he that. would come up with a vaccine or test out a vaccine to see if the shit works. But that's what I'm saying. Like, look, look. It's scary. Look, 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 look to my viewers out there, check out Utopia on Amazon Prime. Okay. It's I'm a, a series. I'm going to go there tonight. It's a series. Tonight. Now, in this series, check out the subliminals. Because they talk about a comic book, but it's like the person that created the comic book predicted the future. It's like some contradiction shit going on. Let's just kick back. And to those that are wearing right now, shout out to my peeps, you know, from Disney. Y'all worried right now. Just, just take a chill pill for a second. And I know it's easy said than done. Or anybody that's at their job or at a close to a layoff, because that's what's happening right now. A layoff is coming. More of them are coming. This is just the beginning. So you got to just hold tight. And at this point right now, until it goes down, have a backup plan. It could be you. It could be anybody. But have a game plan. Because like, like we were saying about a lot of them are like really laying off people and giving people early retirement right now, bro. Um, a lot of those companies that you named earlier, you know, and oh, uh, like uh, Universal, like yeah, thirty three thousand people. I know people. I know people like who personally might, you know, work at some of them labels you didn't named and everything. And yeah. you know, they're wondering. They, they, you know, everybody's waiting for that axe, and they're just nervous. They're like, when is it coming? Yeah. You know, is it the next week? Is it next month? was, you know, everyone's nervous. And I mean, like you said, this is everyone's livelihood with this right. whole COVID thing going on. There's no no shows being booked, no concerts, no venues being, you know, done. I mean, in California, there's right. not, you know, the other places. But, you know, yeah. with that being said, that means there's no flights, you know, right. because right. California tourist state. It's a lot of money getting lost right now. They're saying that Trump's still going to do his duties, but it's just like we can't really depend off of words anymore because it's just all talk with no action right now that's been going on. And there's been a lot of talking, but there's no action. There's been a I lot mean, of talking with the stimulus, but it right. has, look how long it's took for it to go into action. Like how many months ago was that? Like, I mean, look, that was like, okay, everybody got it like somewhere like in April, right? Like every, after everybody filed their taxes, right? right? A lot of people got it in April. But here's the thing, though, man. Here's the thing. See, when people got it in April, it didn't take that long. But then when they were talking about the second one, right? they just kept prolonging it, prolonging it, prolonging right. it. A lot of losses, but Trump keeps saying everything is okay, everything is okay. And we like, okay, well, damn. You signing these bills saying everything's okay, everything's going to be affected immediately, and there are some people are still getting evicted out of their homes, out of their apartments, losing their houses, about to be homeless on the street. Yeah, they're not getting any of that back. Once See, it's gone, it's gone. That part, that part. And that's the sad part, man, that's... That's that's really taking a toll where people are being affected behind. Back in. How can you move someone back into a home that you've already evicted them out of? Like that makes no sense. What do they get at the end of the day? Right, right. And and so that's why I'm saying that there are people are suffering right now. And these are people that are not aware of this. Nobody saw it coming. Of me as you know, like I, I I don't have a problem working with a company, but I would like to, you know, expand on my own business. Me as an independent contractor, being an electrician. Yeah. No, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna go out to your house. No, I'm not gonna go in your attic. I'm not doing any of that because. <laughs> that's the oh man. I can't, I, I'm sorry, your lights is off, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
about my family first, you know. Right. I'd rather and your safety and all that. Just like B. Smith said in the chat, saying that airlines just laid off also. See, they been laying off people, B. Smith. They been laying people off after the Senate walked out and went to recess because they said, well, damn, if um, the Senate doesn't pass this bill to keep these companies on a float, they're going to start laying off people. That's what happened. So as soon as the people in the Senate just like, psh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like they, they argue back and forth. They went back and forth, back and forth, arguing and all that. And what happened? They just walked right the hell out and was just like, I mean, damn, like whatever. And that's what happened. So now uh, people are being laid off from the airport. Southwest Airlines, you know, at um, LAX and other airports, just to name a few. You know, and it's not just only California. This is all over the United States. My message to everybody is just get prepared, y'all. Just be prepared for the worst to come. Hope for the best. Hope for an outcome. But expect the worst. But expect the worst to come. We're living in the end of age and the end of horrible times right now. And some of us knew this shit was coming. Yeah. Some of my people predicted this shit. Said it was going to happen. Right. I mean, even the, uh, the Shell gas station company going to start laying off people too. Wow! Don't yes, say that. I, I know some. I know some people who work for them. I yeah, know work for them too. Man. Yeah, and, and that's why I was telling people on my radio shows, man, get y'all gas cans because you never know that if you think for one that it, it won't affects you or it won't affect somebody in your family or you think not in a million years that the company you work for could affect your livelihood during this pandemic think again because it could happen to anybody right now anyone anyone until next time y'all i'm closing out peace much love y'all